What up guys? I want to show you guys how to make some poor man's liquid nitrogen out of gasoline and dry ice. And hopefully in the future I'm going to be making a liquid nitrogen generator for pretty cheap that you guys could do at your house. So let's get at it. Before we start, you want to hear a noise that can drive anybody crazy? Take some spoons on some dry ice. Out. All right, we need a pot, some dry ice, and gasoline. Now we have a flammable concoction. We'll drop in some dry ice. And oh man, does this she bubble. That's not good. Maybe it's best to add the dry ice first. This goes without having to say, don't do this inside your house. Alright, here we go. Let's try some grass. Get a boil. See how well a cutie does. My original plan was trying to freeze gas, but it won't freeze at this temperature. All right, well the orange is done now, so let's give a piece of watermelon a shot in there. Oh shoot. <laughs> that is rock solid. I don't even hear that. Oh, somebody's gonna ask. Is it flammable? Actually, kind of, yeah. An orange soaked in gasoline is flammable. And it gets its color back too. Check that out. I wonder if just the peel is flammable. Oh yeah. Whew, that's hot. I know what y'all saying. I'm stupid for doing this around gasoline, but it is so freaking cold right now. It needs a lot of heat to go. More heat than just that burning will generate. Bubble, bubble. Also, gasoline. I want to see if the inner parts are flammable, if the gas pe permeated. Does not look like the gas permeated the inside. It looks like the inside of the peel is what's flammable. The outside is not lighting off. Inside absorbed gas. That's interesting. I wonder if their watermelon will absorb gas at all. Alright, let's see how well frozen this watermelon is. Oh my god, that's really frozen. Just like the orange, it's lost all its color. Let me pull this away. All right, I can't. Keeps bouncing. That, my friends, is frozen watermelon. Now I know somebody's gonna ask, will it burn? Uh, let's see if the watermelon burns. Nothing. It's actually still pretty frozen. Well, 
Oh, I'm sorry guys. I originally wanted to freeze gas, but it turns out I can't do it at CO2 temperatures. I need liquid nitrogen temperatures. And I'm going to be building a rig to make liquid nitrogen coming up soon. You guys want to see that? Let me know. I know what somebody's wondering. Will this light on fire? Kind of. It can't sustain its reaction because it is constantly being bathed in CO2. And for everybody wondering, like all this gas that is spilt all over, why I'm not extraordinarily concerned is because it is bathed in CO2. I mean, even if it did catch it, it wouldn't be up long.